Hello and welcome to this demonstration video where I will show you how to configure the Brosen RTU32 running as a Modbus slave using Ethernet. First I will start by opening the Stratum Workbench. I'll add a new project. Select the destination where the project should be saved. Give the project a name, Modbus TCP underscore slave. I'll select the language for the project, release build, and the IP address of the RTU32, which is going to run as a Modbus slave. Like this. Next thing to do is to add the Modbus slave driver. This is done using the Feedbus configurating configurator. So right click, insert configuration, select the Modbus slave protocol. Now I have to add my slave. I'll give it slave ID number one. And I'll just set the offset of the addresses to zero. So now I'll add my data points. First we'll add the data block digital inputs. We have eight and I'll declare my variables digital input module zero. Then I'll start by zero. Then the Stratton workbench will automatically gen generate the variables for me. As you will see here, digital input up to seven, and we'll see it has been automatically added in the field bus configurator. Now I'll add some coils one two four and again my variables digital output module zero and the bit number and then I'll add some input registers analog values one two four So now, in this example, I'll bind the data points to the hardware on the RTU32. I'll start by this, right-click the variable, select properties, choose the digital input output profile, like this. The next one, bit 1. Bit two, bit three, four, five. Six and the last one seven. Then for the digital outputs, we'll choose the same profile, but then we'll have to change the I/O type. Now it's a digital output and a output bit. First one is bit zero. Output, output bit, bit one, and again, and bit two, and for the last digital output, digital output, put bit. And it's number three. Now for the analog inputs. Choose the other profile for analog input outputs. We'll do the scaling because it is 14 bits. Then 
the next analog input channel is on module 1. Module 2. So now we have done the binding to our hardware. Then I need to use a function block and it's called advanced and we have the Modbus slave UDP. So I'll add a new variable in the globals. We call it MB slave and it's of the type. Modbus slave UDP. So what I'll do is slave. The first parameter is enable. We'll say true. The next one is the port number 502, and the slave number one, as we had in our field bus configuration here. Slave number one. And the last parameter is is the protocol. But this is true because we will be using the Modbus RTU protocol. Now I've done, I'll download it to the RTU. Stop the current project which is running on the RTU 32 and then download the new one. So just go to my field bus configuration, see if our data punch is binded correctly to our hardware. You'll see all digital inputs will have a analog input changing, so everything is working. This was all for now. Thank you.